Hello guys, I'm Seraphim190, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reviewing The Walking Dead Onslaught. This is not Saints and Sinners, and if you already own Saints and Sinners, I can say, sincerely, sin sinisterly, that you should just forget this game altogether because they're pretty much the same. Uh, Saints and Sinners has more depth, but this is a review for this game, so let's get into it. As When you start the game up, it asks which is your most adonimate hand, um, so that it can take away the process CPU power from your weak hand. And therefore you're going to have tracking issues every now and then. This is made by Servios. This is a huge surprise. I do like Servios as a development team. They've made some great games like Rocky. Uh, but this here is a, a little different. As you can see here in the footage here, this is not Walking Dead Onslaught. This is the game I made in Dreams. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Sorry about that. I just wanted to show you the difference. I made this in like two or three days, okay, it's got full on bullet time enemies and they react to the bullets, and uh, yeah, you can definitely shoot them as well. Bullet time, check it out in dreams. But anyway, this game was made in development for over a year, longer than what it was anticipated. So it's a lot longer in development than, I'm really surprised this wasn't a little bit more polished. And I sincerely had a lot of fun on my very first impressions shooting the zombies. Sincerely. Sorry, because you know what, after a while I realized that this is all it was. There's not much more to it other than updating your house, as you can see here, this is a church, you update. You upgrade it every time you find stuff around in the stages. You just find food and bullets and things, you pick them up as you go, shoot the zombies, come back, talk to her, she tells you where to go on the map, and you do it all over again. This is the tra uh, target, target, target practice situ section, and here you can use as many bullets as you want to get your shot pop right. And as you can see, I've got a shotgun, uh, it's no big blast, so I, I use a different gun, and I found that I had super, super human aim, look at this, pew, 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 pew. look at that. But even so, as amazing as these guns sound, they're useless in this game, because all you really need is a knife in the game. What I'm trying to say is, the game is un, un, undoubtedly, it's it can't, it's fucking broken, and the reason why I say this is because, you can basically just use the knife in every level. Okay, in this footage here you'll see that I didn't really know that straight away. I was using the gun. Uh, I, I was getting torn apart. Because when you're shooting with a gun you gotta reload and every time you do this you're gonna get bitten by a zombie, okay? And, and after a while I'm like, you know what? I don't need this gun. This gun's getting me killed, as you can see. But if you want to feel like John Wick, this is the game for you. This is a great, fantastic, uh, immersive feeling. But then you, all you have to do is pull out your knife and you know what? That's the end of the game, because with this knife, if you use it correctly, you can just kill every zombie, one hit in the head, BOOM! And it's over. Unlike with the gun, you've got to shoot them at least three times in the head. Or, or eight times in the chest, or whatever. It's just ridiculous. Why, why do this to yourself when you can literally just pull out the knife, hack and slash, and uh, end of the game? I even read in one of my comments on my previous video uh, that someone was just swinging the hammer around. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that's how you can win the game. So the game's too easy. I've even put it in hard mode at this point, and I found that the only damage I had sustained was from the gun battles earlier. Uh, but basically, using the knife, if I wasn't if I was a little bit more careful with the knife, you can pretty much do it without any damage whatsoever. But here you can see I've taken a little bit of damage, and that's mainly because my tracking was getting thrown off every now and then, which is uh, not so great. So yeah, the tracking for one of the arms uh, at all times is not as good as your Donovan and hand. And uh, but other than that, yeah, I had like a little bit of fun slashing, as you can imagine. Uh, but yeah, the decapitation system isn't as good as I hoped. It wasn't as great as I would hope. Sometimes you hit them in the neck and their arm falls off, you know. So it's a little janky, so to speak. If you already own Saints and Sinners, this is definitely not worth the buy. I don't recommend this uh, as much as I thought first playing this, because uh, I have a lot of games, and you know what, if you already have Resident Evil 7, literally this is not worth the money. So as you can see here, I'm just using the knife, and uh, yeah, it's really not that difficult of a game. Just pretty much stabbing in the, in, in the, in the head. So I'm Sarah from 190, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button, it really makes me grow into a better man. And I want to be a better man. So thanks again. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.